हेलो डियर फ्रेंड देयर इज एन अपडेट फॉर फ्यूजन स्टूडियो फ्यूजन स्टूडियो 20.2.3 हैज जस्ट बीन रिलीज्ड डियर फ्रेंड्स लेट्स डाउनलोड फ्यूजन स्टूडियो 20.2.3 हियर एंड लेट्स सी व्हाट्स न्यू इन दिस अपडेट आफ्टर डाउनलोडिंग लेट्स सी हाउ टू स्टार्ट इन फ्यूजन स्टूडियो हाउ टू क्रिएट कंपोजिशंस इटीसी इनसाइड फ्यूजन स्टूडियो इफ यू हैव द विंसी रिजोल्व स्टूडियो वर्जन इट मींस यू हैव ऑटोमेटिकली लाइसेंस एंड एक्सेस टू फ्यूजन स्टूडियो सो डियर फ्रेंड टुडे लेट्स डाउनलोड एंड लर्न हाउ टू स्टार्ट इन फ्यूजन स्टूडियो हाउ टू मेक कंपोजिशन इटीसी ऑल पार्ट्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हियर Don't forget to subscribe the channel, dear friend. Your one subscription gives me a lots of motivation to make more creative tutorial for you. Without wasting time, let's jump into our PC inside Fusion Studio to download and create a beautiful composition here. You can download Fusion Studio on the website of Balak Music uh, website here. No, we are on the website here. You can read if you have license of Da Vinci Resolve Studio version. You can freely download and use. otherwise you can use free fusion inside da vinci resolve okay so here we are on the website you can read everything and just download i know after downloading uh, we come to fusion page here and we can uh, start compositing uh, it is here so let's see how we can make uh, gradient compositions in fusion studio here now we just come here you see here this is the loader loader is like media in if you have experience in fusion in uh, da vinci resolve you can understand click here and we will start and this is the saver means it's a media out means uh, through this we will export our video we already know notes it is so we just uh, today concentrate on how we can create a beautiful youtube outro intro or generators and add text and we can animate gradient effects inside fusion studio we just come here you see here we have this background it's like media in we just click here it means it's our first part here okay now nothing is visible here because we didn't customize we didn't any things if you want to see here just click one you can see click one here and it will visible on your first key over here you see in black our color is black now and this is the second window this is the first window we have two windows in fusion both windows are independent you can open this anywhere before that we have only black screen because we didn't change any color we can change color here for example i want to take this color okay now you can see our color is visible here now if you want to this on second you can click here second here or on your keyboard just click second okay second just click second and if you don't want to see this in the first window just unclick from here you see here shortcut is a one or two hello dear friend if this class is useful to you adds value to your life don't forget to subscribe the channel no days i am working hard but my channel is not growing due to the algorithm of youtube but you can make it possible just by writing a comment liking subscribing the channel even you can share this channel to those friends who are actually in the need of such type of tutorial this fusion tutorial may be very useful to them dear friend motivate me dear friend consider favor without wasting time let's jump into the next step of fusion studio here i use shortcut try to use shortcut then it will be very intuitive now you can see we have a here already background here we have added and we have selected the color and now we come here to add media out this loader is a media out you can see here we have loader is a media out here click loader now you come to your computer and you here you see i have several photos here i will take any photos here and just click here now you can see here now we have this this is not visible just click one on your keyboard you can see now we have here just i have this media photo which we just imported through this loader it's a very important to understand the basic otherwise you will be not able to work properly in fusion studio so once it's a connected now we can start working control and scroll the wheel of your mouse scroll the wheel of your mouse here you can see i am pressing control and just scrolling like this way so it's a very intuitive way to work if you have second button of your mouse you can just pan to left right up down 
you can use okay now we can uh, make several type of composition using this but uh, if you want to export this video we have to just click here here you see saver you have to save here to your computer delete this you can anytime delete control a and delete on your keyboard so nothing is visible here so now we take come here you see this is the background but you can plus a space bar on your keyboard and from here you can directly take background type here background you can see here we have background and otherwise from here you can take just uh, i unclick here i just drag from here you can see here we have background it will work like media in here we just drag and here you can see nothing is visible because we didn't click here you see here just click one here on your keyboard and here click two so it's a visible no nothing is visible here only it's a black because we have black black is default color come here you can choose this color i want this color here you can see from here no we can just maximize minimize here our default uh, canvas size is 920 by 1080 p you see here we come to image here and from here you can change width height if you want 4k resolution directly you can change from here i put this on default from here you can type directly and you can take the aspect ratio i use this aspect ratio and from here you can take depth depth 8 okay this follow 32 but i take this uh, default properties here if you want to use m format setting just click here and we can change color etc in gradient when you come here this is our solid color but we can change color to horizontal you see now we have horizontal color okay this is the two colors we have now in horizontal and we can change this color for example i want this red color it will be red and second will be right color will be something i take dark we can take something white okay so you can see we have red and white so in horizontal we have two colors here and you can anytime like if you have worked any photo photoshop or any photo editing software and you can change you see here you can change green alpha you can add like alpha if you add it will be like you see transparent background transparent background you we have now you can see here transparent you can change any time okay we return to default here one and here anytime we can change any color for example i want to take this color okay in this way you can make the background here you see four it's a vertical click here and it will be no vertical size now we can change anytime we dark we take this color okay here so you can see in this way you can change and you can add key framing etc here okay after vertical we have four corner four color so we have this default and we can add something red more red okay and black we can change like white we take this white here you can see here so we have white we can take this color okay so in this way you can change four size from here you can anytime change the color after that we come here four corner now we have in same like photoshop or affinity photo or gimp you can add same thing you can do here like in composition compositing software it's the same like photo editing software it has a plus a key framing which is not available in photo editing software so here you can see gradient in any time you can change for example this gradient i want to take this you see here this color just select here red okay about this size red and we can anytime add other color here i want to take this color okay and uh, anytime if you want to delete any color for example i have selected the i want to take this dark color okay and i want to delete you can just hold and drag it drag anywhere and it's deleted you see it has deleted so hold and anytime you can I delete it's a very intuitive and now we take this here this color we take something we can take this color we have other this color we take this color okay and last color we take here and you can increase here width you see here from here you can increase decrease increase we have made this gradient in gradient we have type here you see this is the left side and a cross this will be cross and we will learn in the next class this is the radial you can give the radial effect uh, this will be like angle you see you can make angle linear only linear and now it's okay and from here i start here you can see frame how much frame do you want okay 
no anytime you can add here we want to add render nodes because we will render this so first you come here we have added background means we have added loader media in here and here see here saver now we can save we just type here gradient and now we save here so you can see we have saved here now we have uh, made our gradient here and uh, now we can uh, start key framing uh, first i want to decrease the frame rate here you can type any time for example i want to take here 500 only so you can decrease if you want less for example i want to take only 300 okay now we can start key framing here our frame will be here we have set up here 300 frames only it's unlimited you can set up to 50 60 frame for your youtube intro we come here we can fully start here key framing in gradient for example i take this here and now we can make like such effect we can get here you see here when our frame will be here you can see and i want to take this to that side here you see here this side we want to take this yellow side you can take this hold and we can take this here there are lots of settings you can add rotation etc but i want to take only simple i want to show you whatever you can do in this when our frame will be here now you can see this red i will take this red to this side here see here like and this second will be here you see here. when our frame will be here and we can add other type of key framing uh, for example i take this offset you see like this when our frame will be here no our framing is active now we take this offset here when our frame will be here you can see here and we can start again keep framing like this see, like this way and now you can give key framing even in here in layer gradient you can change here positions you can take this cross it will like cross so i don't want to do that okay and here you can see a start in in and you can start key framing here in x y this x like you can like make this like in this way just we come here our frame we can make this like this you see here and when our frame will be here and now we start again offset okay we can make this type of effect try dear friend and then you will understand whatever you can do using this we only use this offset effect here you can imagine and you can do a lots of things using this key framing features in fusion now let's see how to add text here for adding text we come here anywhere just click here on background go to our last class how to add merge tool and add text when it's a background is selected we just click here text here and it will automatically merge you see this merge here we have this merge has automatically joined to background and gradient here output and text has been added here you see here and you can change that any time here position i want to put this on front and here okay only in this way now we want to add text you see nothing is visible here because we haven't typed anything for typing just come here and i want to type here fusion update okay and we can change the font here color here here you can see we want to take extra bold extra bold okay and we want to increase the position from here so you can see we have added position here and now we come here for add some things layout in layout here you see point we have transform we come to setting in setting we want to take this you see thickness here like this this okay now we can take other you see here red outline you have to enable here and you can add uh, if you want to take some other color here we just take from here directly for example this okay add an outline here you can take solid gradient we just take this so we have simply added text here and now we can start actually a key framing same way our frame will be just here we take this here this handle you see this is a playhead and you can play you can use we just come here transform here you see this we will use this only x y z i want to add key frame so just uh, you see diamond button just click it's a red now we can start key frame so i want to give this uh, rotation you see like this rotation when our frame will be here and 
just click here it will be minutely select here okay when our frame will be here you see here here and now we want to rotate again like this rotates again rotate because our key framing is active now we can rotate any time okay you can see i am rotating here and when our key framing will be here and i want to make like this position okay why we can add why like in tutorial class it's not possible just we have made now we play and see how we can make this beautiful intro good but if you give time and try you can do a lots of things whatever you will imagine you can do inside fusion studio now let's see how we can use this inside the vinci resolve everything is okay now uh, we come to file here in file we want to take the output format i want to use mov here we will change nothing audio format s264 quality 75 is okay for me settings we will not change uh, we just come here to render here uh, start rendering now you can see here 300 271 frames we have okay a uh, start render now now the render has completed we come to da vinci resolve here see here we have file on our desktop we just drag to our media pool in the vinci resolve here in any video editing software you can use it okay now we have dragged you can see we have this fusion composition we can play and we can use it for intro and youtube outro you can make it very beautiful give time and try now we come here and we want to put a sound so we have sound library we just drag drag this sound here okay now we come to media pool here and we have clips here add this clip now we can play here looking for the best free open source pdf viewer hello dear friend now we are on the black magic forum here release of fusion studio 20.2.3 here you can read and what's new in fusion studio 20.2.3 here support for black magic raw sdak 5.1 up to 4x faster magic mask and depth map on intel gpu if you have intel gpu then you can enjoy this new feature now these all are the bug fixes addressed uh, various type of boxes it is here you can read this is the release note of fusion studio 20.2.3 you can read one by one so dear friend in this way you can do a lots of thing inside uh, fusion studio so try dear friend uh, write me comment and which type of fusion comp you have uh, created uh, recently and uh, how you have used uh, such fusion comp and apply this gradient effect and text effects in one class it's not possible to cover everything so write me in the comment box which type of tutorial you want